This is The Lock McGee Lawyer, and what I have for you today is something that was supremely disappointing. It's an Abus model 93100, and to my knowledge, it's not sold in the US. I sourced this one from a locksmith in Australia, and I wanted to check it out because it's one of the beefier locks sold by Abus. This weighs in at nearly three pounds. But as far as the physical build goes, I really don't have any complaints. Destructively opening this would take an act of extraordinary violence. My concern arises from the lack of security pins in the core, something that's pretty unusual on a higher-end Abus. It's so unusual that I wondered whether it was pinned up by the locksmith, but I don't think that's the case. We have these Abus branded keys, and if we look carefully, we can see they were chromed after they were cut. That strongly suggests to me that it was a factory pinning job. So let's see what it takes to get this open. I'm going to use the 50,000 thick Ergo Turner that I sell over on CovertInstruments.com and the standard hook from the Genesis set. Nothing on one, two, three. Okay, four is binding. Nice click there. Five is binding. Nice click out of five. Nothing on six. Pulling back, I'm stuck behind something. I think that's either three, probably three. Nice click out of three. Nice click out of two, nothing on one. Back to the beginning, one, two, three, four, five. There we go, six is binding. Nice click out of six. Not sure what's holding us up now. Little click out of two and we got this open. Okay, folks, I can tell from picking this that the tolerances are reasonably tight, and it's possible Abus was relying on that to stop pickers. But if so, it's out of character for the company, and in my opinion, inadequate for a lock of this size and security rating. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.